So, my last week's peanut butter experiment was a complete failure. Um, the taste was good, but the texture is definitely not a peanut butter. So I figured I may have to buy peanut butter and at least try them out to figure out which peanut butter will give me a nice peanut buttery flavor so I can make peanut butter cookies today. And to get delicious gluten-free peanut butter cookies, I'm going to try out different flour combinations. Now, my Canadian friends recommended this peanut butter to be the tastiest of all the ones they have tried. Let's give it a try. The taste test. It's not quite right on, but it's definitely better than some of the other peanut butter I have tasted in Ireland. I did find, though, hidden away in a supermarket, a peanut butter brand I haven't tried. So I figured out I can't be the judge alone. So I took that peanut butter and Jamie and Shauna's favorite peanut butter and brought it to their party. Let's figure out in a blind taste test which peanut butter will be the best or the closest to American peanut butter. Because we're doing the peanut butter tasting, we're gonna try to figure out which one is the peanut butter which comes closest to American. Not okay. When I look like this, okay, Ryan. When I look like this, Ryan can't participate. So we have here different peanut butters, but I think it's really between those three because that's a unique. Yeah, peanut it's not really a peanut butter. So try the non-peanut butter. So try this one. That's really tasty. It's interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. That's my palate. That's your palate. That would go really well with honey. Yeah, it's got the garlic in it already. Just please. KPX is winning so far. Thank you. Okay, okay which oh, am I? Do I well, know? I don't know. know. I don't, don't know. know. Okay. I love Ryan's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? As, as the only Irish in the room. <laughs> <laughs> what are these crazy people doing? Yeah, because again, it, we are not sophisticated peanut butter. It's just mm. it's peanut butter. Whatever. <laughs> no. Now, no. now, crisps. Yeah, oh, yeah. Iron people crisps. Yeah, you can have a little taste test over there, yeah. So, one, two, or three. Easy choice. Super uh, easy choice. Two. 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 <gasps> Which two. one was yours? One. Without question. What two. Was it? Uh, two, but like, I liked one, but it was too <laughs> smooth. No, and two was crunchy. Small and flavor wise? Flavor wise, one and two were very close. Yeah. So, this was one, and this was number two. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, What's that, sorry? I like the crunchiness of this one, but the crunchy of this one is really good. Mm. So The flavor of one was hands down the best. Really? Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Because that's that one. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. We have the peanut butter winner. So now I can happily and contently and self-assuredly make my peanut butter cookies. But I will try two versions, one with sugar, one without sugar, and just see how the taste difference will be. And if actually without sugar the cookie is not going to fall apart on me. And then I want to try out which gluten-free flour combination would actually work for cookies. So I have two different flour combinations which I think could possibly work. One is the flour combination for my tart crust and the other one for my pie crust. And the big difference between the pie crust and the tart crust flour combination is that the pie crust has much more potato flour in it and no oat flour or brown rice flour. So let's see if any of those two flours will hold up in making this peanut butter cookie recipe. For my trial, I'm going to make four different batches. The one batch will be pie crust flour and the other one tart crust flour and then the number three and four would be pie and tart crust as well but no sugar. So I'm going to create my base mixture and then separate it out to add to one bad sugar and for the other no sugar and then I'm going to add to different flour combinations and see what comes out of it. For the base recipe I have to measure one cup of butter which should be about 200 grams I'm going to double check on that and we're going to add 
the eggs and the baking soda and so on. And I'm going to use 250 grams of butter or dairy-free butter substitute, one cup or 140 grams of peanut butter, half a teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda which is also called bread soda in Ireland and now I'm combining the ingredients in my stand mixer the butter the peanut butter and the eggs are not well combined and I want to measure how much this combination weighs because I want to quarter the mixture to make my different peanut butter cookie variations. So each variation should get about 150 grams of my peanut butter cookie batch. So here's my first batch, and I'm gonna add about 50 grams of dark brown sugar and 50 grams of white sugar. And I wanna add 100 grams of my tart flour combination. And now I'm going to blend it again in my mixer. Okay, here's my first cookie dough experiment mixture. And I'm going to transfer it now to a different bowl. I'm going to repeat now the process three more times to have my different peanut butter cookie variations. and you can see what for a solid cookie dough this is and this is the pie crust without sugar and that's also pretty soft if you look at the sugar tart crust combination you see it's a little bit more lumpier and the tart crust without sugar is a pretty dense dough ball I am very curious to bake up those different peanut butter flour combination and see how different the texture will be after I bake them the cookie doughs have to rest for an hour in the fridge before I can bake them up. So here are my rested sugar-free cookies and I'm going to take a small ice cream scoop and scoop my cookies onto my baking sheet. I'm also going to press down with a fork into my cookie dough to make my cookies a little bit flatter. I'm going to mark the cookies with one toothpick and into the bowl which says tart crust I'm also going to place one toothpick so I can later identify which cookie is which cookie. The pie crust sugar-free cookie dough is definitely much more pliable. I'm going to put the cookies now into the oven for 10 minutes. Here are my freshly baked peanut butter cookies. So here's the lineup of my peanut butter cookie experiment. Sugar-free tart, sugar-free pie, sugar tart, and sugar pie. And you can actually see how different the texture is, which is pretty neat. And I'm going to break the cookie with the tart crust and sugar-free. It has nice crumbs and tastes totally disgusting. Well, not totally, but it tastes like dry bread with peanut butter. It makes you choke a little bit because it's so freaking dry. So, uh, I really don't hate anybody that much that I would want to serve them that type of cookie. So let's try number two. That's the pie crust, flour combination, sugar-free. Yeah. Um, uh, just definitely no. Blah. This is the cookie with sugar and this is the tart crust. You can see when I slowly break it, it doesn't, ha doesn't have a snap to it. Hmm. I definitely needed the sugar. That's a nice chewy cookie. It's good. I would definitely serve this one. Again, you see a little bit of the pull on it. It's also very nice crumb. 
I would say this one is even a little bit chewier, which I'm not surprised about because it has more potato flour in it. Both of them are pretty good though, so depends. Do you want a chewier cookie? Then use the pie crust flour combination. And if you like to have a little bit of more crunch to it, you will use the tart crust flour combination. And both of the flour combinations are listed on my channel and on my website. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye.